Hey guys, Tim the Lawn Mile Man here. Spreading. Today I'm going to show you how to change your oil in your four we stroke trimmer. First, we need to find one because I use two strokes. You want to borrow, borrow what? Um, just your whip snipper. I'll bring it back if you're worried. Just oh, I'm on the Google. Have a look there. Yeah, that's not yeah, happening. That's not happening. Now we've got crappy weather here today, and for me that means general maintenance or just basic stuff that anyone can do. As far as maintenance goes, this is probably one of the easiest tasks that you can do to keep your equipment in good shape and definitely something you shouldn't be afraid of trying. Now this task is that easy. If you don't want to watch the full video, just tip the old oil out and put the new oil in. Let's start with what we need. Of course we need some oil. In my case, I'm using 10W30 Fresh As. Then you're going to need something to tip the old oil into. I'm using this oil pan here. Quite handy indeed. Now the next two things aren't 100% necessary, but they do make the task a little bit more enjoyable and cleaner. We're getting some uh, gloves here and a pillow. Now for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm using a Honda UMK425 trimmer, which just happens to be a trimmer that I do recommend for domestic users. And why do I recommend it? A couple of reasons. Number one, it starts like a dream every time. Number two, there's no fuel mixing. Most people at home don't wanna to have to worry about that. And number three, it's got a decent amount of power for its price range. Now, how often are we changing the oil? For most people, they just do it when they get a chance. Me, on a rainy day. If you want something a little more solid, Honda's recommendation for this particular trimmer is to check before starting every time, who does that, then to change the oil every six months or 50 hours of use. Can't remember what mum used to say. I think it was, if it's brown, do not frown. If it's black, give it the sack. So the first thing we're gonna do is lay out all our items. I'm using 10W30 oil here. Try and get something that's easy to pour with. You don't have to have an oil pan, just any container that you can tip the oil into. Make sure you check the fuel cap is completely done up. The last thing you want is fuel going everywhere. Now for the Honda, the oil inlet and outlet is right here. Just unscrew that. And you can see the color of this oil, definitely due for a change. Very easy to get the oil out of the engine. Simply tip it, watch it all come out. You can use your container if you want. Makes clean up a bit easier if you do use the container. There we go. Now time to get some fresh oil in there and you want to fill it up until it gets to the top of the neck there. I usually go just below there so once I screw the dipstick back in, we don't overflow. The last thing you want is mess. Here's where an easy pour type container comes in handy. Now this particular trimmer only takes 80 mils of oil so no excuse for not doing it often. Well this one appears to be broken so not so easy. So you want the oil to come just to the tip of there. We just need a tiny bit more. Make sure you do this on a level surface. Look at that difference in color. So that's all done and we're ready to go. Now all that's left to do is to take your old oil that you put in the oil pan, drain it into a bottle of some sort, and depending on your council, they may take it at the tip for free. Let me know what you'd like to see next and make sure you check out our free overgrown yard makeovers.